Is campus closing and you still want to hold class? We have that option with WebEx. Let me show you the simplest way to do that. This quick video will show you how to get your meeting started and then I will direct you to another excellent video that shows what to do once your meeting has started. First, in your browser, let's go to wake.webex.com w-a-k-e dot w ebex dot com. All right, this is what Webex looks like when you first log in. Now, if you're connecting to Webex for the first time, it may prompt you to download a desktop app or a uh, or a Chrome browser plugin. Do so and just follow the directions to install that, and that will bring you to this page right here. Now, there are ways you can schedule meetings for particular times and invite individual participants. But the very easiest way to get started is to use your personal room. This is the equivalent to your office. Give students the address of your office, they come, if you're there you meet. That's the concept of personal room. The address of your personal room is given right down here. And so you see this is consists of https colon slash slash wake dot webex dot com that's what we just entered to get here slash meet slash the first part of my email address everything before the at wfu dot edu so this is what you send to your class this address is what you send to your class and say please go to this address uh, at time for a class and I would advise you to encourage them to start off about 10 minutes early so they'll have time to download any software so we click on start meeting so this is opening the door to our office. It's starting up. This takes a few tens of seconds on my laptop. Okay. And so now I am in WebEx. I'm no longer in my browser. I'm in the WebEx application. The first thing you need to do is to establish your audio and video connections. Uh, don't brush past that. This is actually an important decision, um, especially if you have more than one microphone and speaker and camera. So select video connection. I have an external webcam uh, integrated camera. That's my laptop camera. So I'm going to use my laptop camera and you can see my face there. That's working right now. Uh, it's not going out anywhere. It says preview only. So your video is not showing in the meeting yet. The other choice is the audio connection. I recommend call using computer. There are ways that you can get WebEx to call you on the telephone. That works fine. Um, you can call into a meeting. That gets a little more complicated. Uh, you'll have to enter a code. Um, but uh, call with computer is what I uh, recommend for your audio connection. If you are using a headset, as I am, you would choose that for your speaker. There's my built-in speakers in my laptop. I could choose if, it, it if I wanted to. And the microphone. I have a choice of the internal microphone, the microphone on my headset. In fact, I've got a webcam sitting up there I could use instead. I'm going to use my headset microphone. Always check more options just to make things are working. Make sure things are working. Oh, as you, I talk, I can see this little bar tickling up here. Uh, that, that's nice and loud. It looks like uh, that is working. I've got an automatically adjust volume. If you want to be absolutely sure that it's picking up on your the headset of choice, not another microphone you have plugged in, just scratch on the microphone and if you see those bars tickling then it is using the right microphone if you click on this test then it'll play a little tune and you'll know that the sound is playing through the speakers you want in this case I'm using the microphone on my headset and the speakers also on my headset once that's working the way you want click OK and you're ready to connect. You will go live as soon as you do this. Connect audio and video. All right, I'm live. I'm waiting for my students to arrive for class. I, 
I usually go in about 15 or 20 minutes early and something uh, I, if you want the very best uh, experience for your students if you put a lamp in front of your face and don't don't be backlit you'll they'll get a little bit better look of your at your face that way uh, the worst thing to do is is to be sitting at your laptop with a window behind you so that's the that's how we get this thing started uh, that's the part that is a little bit Wake Forest specific and now let me refer you to another video that will talk about how you can change the view of your students as they join uh, and how you can share PowerPoints, uh, word processor documents, full screen, whatever you like.